Hello and welcome to Nostalgic Knickknacks. I'm Ryan and this is my Perler Beating Retro Gaming YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being here. I've got an exciting episode for you. If you're a Live Alive fan like I am, you're gonna love this one. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make Live Alive characters out of Perler Beats. Now, these are the Super Nintendo Live Alive sprites that I'm gonna be using, so they're the tiny ones. I have also made sprites for the, the remake that happened last year. I'll be sharing those in another video. They're much bigger but we're gonna be making these today. I'm also gonna be sharing some nostalgic memories about Live Alive. So stay tuned for more and make sure if you like this, if you enjoy this content, let me know in the comments below and also let me know what you'd like to see me make in Perler Beats. Just wanna share really quickly my nostalgic memories about Live Alive. The fact is, <laughs> I have no nostalgic memories for Live Alive. I played this game for the first time last year with the remake, and I really, really enjoyed it. It was an experience like no other. I went into it not knowing much about it except for what I was seeing, and I was absolutely blown away by it. The characters uh, were fantastic. So many great characters. So it, it prompted me to go and look up sprites for the original game that was released on the Famicom. And I was not disappointed. These, these sprites are just as fantastic in 2D form as they are in the HD 2D form. So let's get started with some Live Alive Perler beating. I'll show you how to do everything. I'll also have a time lapse of the Perler beating, what colors you need, and all of that. So stay tuned, let's get into the beating. Okay, so everything has been beaded and they're all just waiting to be ironed. So the next step, to iron them. So like I've said in my previous videos, you want to try to have ironing paper cut out that's roughly the size of your perler and have that ready to go. So when you flip your perler, you can immediately start ironing the other side. So I'm using the Cricut Mini Heat Press. I like to start in the middle, flatten it down. This is a very lightweight way of ironing. I tried ironing with a big iron when I first started and I knew I had to find something different, something more dedicated. So I'm going around 
as I sh have shown in my other videos. And I am just getting the outside. And you can see how your black beads are coming together. I really like ironing pixel art that has been outlined in black because it is just easier. So you can see I have this side. And with this Cricut Mini heat press, you can quickly do fine tuning here. So I can look and see where are they not connecting? Where are the beads not connecting? So it looks like it's just the middle area that I need now. And it's looking great. Give it one more go around and we are done. So now I take my board, pick it up, put my hand here, flip it on it. And the board is not warped at all. No taping required. Nothing against anybody who tape, do the tape method. I'm sure it works great for big projects but this works for me. So don't feel pressured to use that tape method every time, especially with little projects. So the back side is much faster because you already iron the front side. And I'll go to the middle, hold it there for a few seconds. And by the way, this is set to setting three. There are three settings, very simple. Okay, everything looks great. Now he's done, I just gotta put a heavy book on him. All right, everything has been under heavy books for about five minutes. So I'm going to take the parchment paper, the irony paper off, and see how everything turned out. So. so here they are. They all turned out great. There's so many wonderful characters in this game. I just can't pick a favorite. I, I love all the stories. I do have to say that Sundown is the coolest character. Absolutely. But, uh, really like Master Shifu, Earthen Master Shifu. He's, he's a very endearing character. And Cube, who, who doesn't like Cube? So, tell me in the comments. Who's your favorite main Live Alive character? And there you have it. That's the whole process of making these Live Alive characters come to life with Perler Beads. I have absolutely enjoyed making these little guys. And there's so many more characters in Live Alive. I'm gonna have more videos coming out of, of other sets of characters, all the townspeople and the animals and every single sprite in that game. So stay, st stay tuned for more of those videos. And if you like this video, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, happy beating.